Hello friends, it's your monk here, back for another one. Today I'm going to talk about setting the course. If these bugs will let me. <laughs> Trying to keep good composure here. Okay, so setting the course. Setting the course of what? Setting the course to thrive. Setting the course to flourish. Setting the course to freedom. Setting the course to pure wisdom. Now, a few reflections, serious reflections. Serious reflections for any Buddhist anywhere. Consider your chitta, your mind. Consider this, this thing, this thing we call the chitta, which the Buddha says this chitta is, illum is illumined. Illumined? Is illuminated. Right? It's illumined. Or illuminate. Illumine doesn't sound right. Is that right? Let me know in the comments. Uh, anyway. So this chitta that we have is something that we don't uh, talk about much in our Western ideologies and Western schools of thoughts and things like this. We talk a lot about reason and philosophy and all these kind of things. But we don't talk much about the mind. The chitta mind. As the Buddha discovered. So this is lacking in our culture, in our traditions. So this chitta, we need to consider two things because usually I like to talk in opposites. It's a good way, it's an easy way to make points clear. The chitta, consider this. If the chitta is pure, clean, purified, is that useful? For yourself and others or on the other side if the chitta is bogged down with avidya with craving or ignorance and craving clinging is defiled by the mental effluence and the asavas or the mental effluence and the defilements things like pride conceit desire constant desire for sensual sensual uh, sensual uh, desires for sensual outcomes uh, for sensual wants material wants these kind of things if the mind is perplexed is this useful for oneself and useful for others so this is where you set the course you set the course firmly now in buddhism we have a direct path it's called satipatthana which i've talked about but there's also things that help with Satipatthana. That's obviously the Noble Eightfold Path. Right? So setting the course on these things to understand that when the, pure, the chitta is purified, when the chitta has released, is released from ignorance, from craving, this thing here, the Buddha does not explain much about it, I think the closest definition you can come to is bliss. Or do you set the course to the mind of the fool? See, there's the arahant and there's the ignorant. Unfortunately, it is this way in Buddhism. There's the part of the wind. Hopefully, yeah. Unfortunately, it is this way, or fortunately, it is this way. At least you know that there's the path to the foolish or the fool, and then there's the path to the wise or to wisdom. So I urge you, Buddhists, to reflect on this and set the course. Set your course to the path of the, on the path of the wise to the wise, to wisdom, and thrive and flourish in yourself. May you grow in Dharma. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and share with your friends.